Hello Channel 6 News viewers, this is reporter Deborah on the case of Banana Man. Uh, we have some footage in a couple of seconds that will pop up of Banana Man when he first went crazy. But your discretion is advised because this might disturb some people. We're here with Channel 6 News um, interviewing some of the victims from the vicious banana man attack in Alabama land. Here we have Mr. Woodsy. Mr. Woodsy, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. Is that okay? Okay. Um, first of all, what happened to you? Like, how are you a victim from this attack? Okay, so um, I was, I was just hunting in these woods right behind us. And um, this banana man, he just came up behind me and he started throwing his bananas at me. Like, who does that? And have you previously seen the banana man before he became banana man? Or is this just your first first sighting? Uh, it was my first sighting of him. I've never seen this man before. He was just new to me. He just ran up and started throwing his bananas. I see. This must have been deeply upsetting. It was um, very upsetting. And was this, have you seen him since then? Or was it just a hit and run and never saw him again? Uh, I think it was a hit and run. I never saw him again. Except, I can't tell if it was him. But I saw someone at, like, Walmart or something that looked exactly like him. So, that's, I, that must have been very, like, scary for you. It was really, it was really scary. I thought he was going to steal the mannequins. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us, Mr. Woodsy. Um, we're going to talk to some other victims around the town and see if we can get some close-up footage of the house where Banana Man grew up. Hope you find it. Yes, thank you for your Good luck. Input. Thank you. another victim from the Banana Man incident on Channel 6 Hi. News. Um, would you be okay with just answering a couple questions for us? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I would. So, first of all, what's your name? My name is Mama Squirrel. <laughs> okay, well, Mama Squirrel, um, we know that there's been some incidences with the Banana Man, and we heard from some little birdies around town that you had an incident with him. Yeah. So, Please can you tell me. us what happened? When um, I was like, walking and like I saw this from like van and like, there was a wife and he was like in it and he like and he said free candy on it so I walked up and I said can I get a twizzle a, a yellow one and he just grabbed me by my hips and like what and he took me in and like and then my daddy in a limo came by and he saw me and he's like that's my child so he took me back. Um, so obviously this was like a very, very scary incident for you. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better or do you still feel a little bit scared to roam the streets? Well, um, when I asked him for a picture, give me a banana. Um, I used to love bananas. I never want to see them in my life again because they're scary. Yes, bananas would obviously be triggering after this terrible incident. Um, so... We're going to go find some other victims around here, ask them if they know where Banana Man is and if they knew him. We might even get some footage of inside Banana Man's house. So, we'll be back, Channel 6 News.
to a big crap, but now I don't know what to wipe with. Are you ever sitting on the toilet and you need to wipe your butt, but you don't want to use leaves because that hurts? Well, then we have the product for you. What is this? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Paper, paper made of toilets. Paper made of toilets? Our quality paper is made from only the most expensive organic ingredients. But even if it does give you a rash, just head on to Walmart and buy some of our premium rash cream. Buy yours today at any store for an unreasonably expensive price. Toilet paper, your butt's best friend. You're back with us on Channel 6 News, where we're hunting for victims of the banana man incident. So far, we have interviewed Mr. Woodsy and Mama Squirrel. Now we're going over to see Emo Chick. I don't actually know her name, but everybody calls her Emo Chick. Thank you for staying with us on Channel 6 News. Right now we have Emo Girl, as most people call her. My um, name's Rebecca. Her name is Rebecca. Um, Rebecca, uh, have you heard about the incidents of Banana Man? I was an incident of Banana Man. Oh, um, that's very unfortunate. We're just here to ask you some questions about that. Is that okay? okay get, get on with them. skateboarding right here and uh, he came up and started talking to me. He had to play with my friend and then he started throwing bananas at me while I was skateboarding and I fell and got a concussion. So like how did you react after you fell? Did you get up and run or did you like stand your ground and try to fight him? You seem like a pretty solid chick. I took his bananas and threw them right back at him. Well life gives you bananas, right? Um, so, have you Don't seen ever make that joke again. Sorry. Did you see him beforehand? Like, is this the first time you spotted him? Have you seen him after the incident? Or is this just... I don't know. Tell me. Uh, I saw him before this happened. I saw him at Target buying some My Little Pony figurines. So, I don't know what he was using those for. Maybe he's gonna throw those next instead of bananas. I don't know. It's just my guess. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds... Pretty scary. So now that this has happened to you, is this making you more cautious, or do you think you're gonna go back and venture out into the world again? Uh, it hasn't made me any more scared. I just carry a gun around now, a shotgun. Ah, my dad has one. That's that's great. Uh, I see you skateboard. Are you pretty good at it? Why would I bring a skateboard around if I'm not gonna skateboard if I'm not gonna get good at it? Oh, um. All right, so do you have any final words you'd like to tell our viewers? No one likes you. We'll cut that out. Um, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for joining us on Channel 6 News. Uh, next, we will go look at Banana Man's house and see if we can spot him. We're back at Banana Man's house. Excuse me, miss. Would you be okay with answering some questions for Channel 6 News about the Banana Man? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, this is the Banana Man's house. Are you related to the Banana Man in any way? I am the Banana Man's sister. Oh, so how do you feel about the situation? Here, if I just pass you this mic. Um, well, it makes me actually pretty sad to know that my brother, who used to love playing in our yard, and dressing up as, like, Cookie Monster has turned into a criminal. Have you heard about the various incidents revolving around the victims? Mama Squirrel, Emo Chick, named Rebecca, um, and Mr. Woodsy? I have. How do you very, feel about it? It's very sad to hear that he attacked an old man, basically old man farmer dude, someone skateboarding. He threw bananas at them while they were, while they were skateboarding, and they got a concussion. And mom squirrel. She's a real gem. Yeah, real beauty. It's about um, Banana Man before he 
became this vicious monster. Well, I remember when we were kids, growing up in this house right here, um, he liked to dress up as Cookie Monster, and now he's turned into this evil monster. It's horrible to lose my brother to this, to bananas. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Susie. And what's the age difference between you and Banana Man? Like, uh, how old is he? When did this... When did the attack start? When did he start showing signs of change? The attacks started like five years ago, uh, three months before the first attack. Uh, he started acting strange. I thought he was just acting strange. Maybe he got done with a breakup or something. But then he attacked. Uh, I am seven years older than him. Uh, that's all I can really tell you about that. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell the Channel 6 viewers, or maybe a message out to your brother who, uh, we haven't heard from him, right? He's ran away? Yeah, he ran away. Uh, if he's home, watching. Please, if you're watching, come back home. We all miss you. Mom misses you. So does Dad. And for all the viewers watching, please stay safe. Uh, if you see any signs of Banana Man, or if you see Banana Man and he acts, and he seems like he's gonna, like, attack, get inside your house and stay, just stay safe. This has been Channel 6 News with reporter Deborah on the case of Banana Man, who mysteriously disappeared a couple months ago. Um, we would urge our viewers to stay safe, and if you'd like to look into more about the Banana Man, you can look in the description. Um, Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.